हेलो दोस्तों नमस्कार आई एम जेके वी आर लर्निंग कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम डॉक्टर के मोहन सर डॉक्टर के मोहन सर वाज फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ एनसीसीबीएम ही ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अबाउट अस अबाउट द वर्कबिलिटी ऑफ कंक्रीट व्हाट आर द टेस्ट प्रोसीजर टू चेक द वर्कबिलिटी ऑफ कंक्रीट टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर के मोहन सर टू टेल एस अबाउट द मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ कंक्रीट Sure, Mr. Singh. Modulus of elasticity of concrete, also known as elastic modulus of concrete, is the ratio of the applied stress to the corresponding strain of the concrete under the application of loads. Modulus of elasticity is the measure of stiffness of a material. The stiffness of a component means how much it deflects under a given load the modulus of elasticity of hardened cement paste is around 10 to 30 gpa and that of aggregate is between 45 to 85 gpa concrete generally has a modulus of elasticity varying between 30 to 50 gpa now i'll discuss stress strain curve of concrete the stress strain curve for hardened cement paste is almost linear the aggregate is more rigid than the cement paste and will deform less that is have a lower strain under the same applied stress the stress strain curve of concrete lies between those of the aggregate and the cement paste a typical stress strain curve of concrete in compression is shown in the figure it has been shown in the figure in the video the relation as you can see the relationship is fairly linear in the initial stages but subsequently becomes non linear reaching a maximum and then a descending portion is obtained before concrete finally fails concrete is not a truly elastic material at a stress below 30% of ultimate strength it is linear we can have different modulus as shown in the figure in the uh, which has shown has been shown in the uh, in the video the initial tangent modulus is given by the slope of a line drawn tangent to the stress strain curve at the origin the tangent modulus is given by the slope of a line drawn tangent to the stress strain curve at any point on the curve the secant modulus is given by the slope of a line drawn from the origin to a specified point on the curve corresponding to a 40% stress of the failure stress the chord modulus is given by the slope of a line drawn between two specified points on the stretch strain curve now i will discuss about static modulus of elasticity and dynamic modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity for concrete determined from an experimental stress strain curve is generally termed as static modulus of elasticity ec whereas the modulus of elasticity determined through longitudinal vibration test that is by velocity of sound or frequency of sound is termed as dynamic modulus of elasticity ed now let us discuss relation between modulus of elasticity and compressive strength modulus of elasticity of concrete increases approximately with the square root of the strength the is 456 2000 gives modulus of elasticity as ec is equal to 5000 times under root fck where ec is modulus of elasticity and fck characteristic compressive strength of concrete 
now a table has been given uh, which shows modulus of velocity of concrete of different at different strength yeah. you can see that in the video now i will talk about relationship between static and dynamic modulus of velocity dynamic modulus of elasticity of concrete is approximately taken as equal to the initial tangent modulus of elasticity of concrete dynamic modulus of elasticity is generally 20 30 and 40 percent higher than the static modulus of elasticity for high medium and low strength concrete respectively approximate relationship between the two moduli expressed as gn per meter square is given by ec is equal to 1.25 ed minus 90 where ec is uh, static modulus and ed is dynamic of elasticity of this relationship is valid for normal weight concrete this relationship does not apply to lightweight aggregate of a very rich concrete with cement contained more than 500 kg per meter cube. For lightweight concrete, the relationship can be EC is equal to 1.04 ED minus 4.1. Now I will discuss about factors affecting modulus of elasticity. There are many factors. I will discuss one by one. Number one is strength of concrete. It is one of the most important factors which affect the modulus of elasticity. Higher strength give higher value of modulus of elasticity. The variation of modulus of elasticity with compressive strength is shown below in this table. Now compressive strength in MPA and modulus of elasticity in GPA. So when compressive strength is 20 MPA, mod modulus is 22.4 GPA. Similarly, 30 MPA corresponding mo modulus is 27.4. 40 MPA corresponding modulus is 31.6. 50 MPA corresponding modulus of elasticity is 35.4. 60 MPA corresponding modulus of elasticity is 38.7. Second is state of wellness or wetness of concrete. The modulus of elasticity of wet concrete specimen is higher than dry specimen while the strength of wet concrete is found less than dry, dry concrete. The strain of wet concrete is found less than for dry concrete. Means the modulus of elasticity is higher for wet concrete than for dry concrete. Now properties of, third is properties of aggregate. The modulus of elasticity of aggregate and its volumetric proportion affect the modulus of elasticity of concrete as follows number a higher the modulus of elasticity of aggregate the higher the modulus of elasticity of concrete the modulus of aggregate is higher than the modulus of cement based. b the greater the volume of aggregate the higher the modulus of elasticity of concrete. the modulus of elasticity of concrete depends on the modulus of elasticity and the volume fraction of cement paste and aggregate as follows 1 by e is equal to vp divided by ep plus va divided by epa where e is equal to e is equal to modulus of elasticity of concrete ea is equal to modulus of elasticity of aggregate ep is modulus of elasticity of paste vp is equal to volume of paste in concrete and va equals volume of aggregate in However, strength of concrete is not affected much by these properties. Number four is, four is the effect of age. The modulus of elasticity of concrete increases more rapidly with age than the strength of concrete. Thus, the relation between the modulus of elasticity of concrete and its strength depends on age. Fifth is mixed proportion. It has been observed that richer mixes have higher modulus of elasticity of concrete. Similarly, older the concrete has the modulus of elasticity of, as with age, concrete becomes a stronger. Sixth is condition of curing. Concrete specimen 
that were cured in mass condition resulted in higher modulus of elasticity than those cured in dry condition. Seventh is effect of transition zone. The white spaces and the micro cracks in the transition zone play a major role in affecting the stress strain behavior of concrete. The transition zone characteristics affect the elastic modulus more than it affects the compressive strength of concrete. Now, determination of modulus of elasticity of concrete. The modulus of elasticity of concrete is determined by subjecting a cube or cylinder displacement to uniaxial compression and measuring the deformation by means of dial gauges fixed between certain gauge length. A strain equal dial gauge reading divided by dial uh, divided by gauge length that is dl divided by l that is gauge length. A stress equal to load divided by cross sectional area that is p by a. Draw a stress strain curve and determine the required modulus. The modulus of Elasticity, elasticity can also be determined by subjecting a concrete beam to bending and then using the formula for deflection and substituting other parameters. The modulus of elasticity so found from actual loading is called static modulus of elasticity. Now, Poisson's ratio. When a material is compressed in one direction, it usually tends to expand in the other two directions, perpendicular to the direction of compression. This phenomena is called the Poisson effect. Poisson ratio is the ratio of lateral strain to longitudinal strain in a material subjected to loading. Mu is equal to lateral strain divided by longitudinal strain. Poisson ratio varies between 0 0.1 for high strain concrete, 0 0.2 for weak mixer. It is normally taken as 0 0.15 for strength design and 0 0.2 for serviceability criteria. Experimental determination of Poisson's ratio mu can be done by calculating the moduli of elasticity that is E and rigidity that is G using dynamic response measurement using the following relationship. Poisson ratio mu is equal to E by 2G minus I. दोस्तों अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो लाइक और शेयर जरूर कीजिएगा जैसे कि जो इच्छुक इंजीनियर्स हैं एक्सपीरियंस पीपल हैं वो कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में सीख सके अगर हमारे चैनल पे अगर आप नए हैं तो सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें बेल आइकन को जरूर हिट कीजिएगा जिससे आपको लेटेस्ट अपडेट नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहेगा हमारा मोटिवेशन बढ़ता रहेगा वीडियो देखने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद